Man created God as a consequence of his ignorance and fear of the reality of nature and of his own mortality. He soon realised that his new creation not only served to assuage his fears, but also to represent a source of power and possibility outside of his human capacity. Once the concept of God was born and people saw the aura of holiness and power that evolved around it, they were inspired to create their own gods. Each new god, although essentially the same, brought with it a new set of beliefs influenced by geographical, social, cultural and economic factors which would drive its followers in one particular direction or another. My land is holy. My God is the best. I am the Son of God. God is in me. I am God's prophet, and so on. The people used their beliefs to strengthen the power and influence of their God, and ultimately to set God against God. History has witnessed the killing en masse of the followers of one God by the followers of another. Fortunately, the conflicting interests of competing gods prompted man to begin to question the nature of his existence, and thereby the discipline of philosophy was born. The search for an objective answer to the fundamental questions of life and the drive to understand the reality of his surroundings also led man to develop scientific thinking. It was surely the combination of philosophy and science that caused the death knell to sound for God. All that remains today of those dead gods are the magnificent temples and palaces and the brokers of heaven and hell. The continued penetration of philosophy and science throughout society will ultimately destroy the beliefs of all those who continue to worship in their delusive temples. The umbilical cord between God and man will then be cut once and for all, and man will stand tall on his own two feet. In my painting, Umbilical Cord, using a combination of sketch and colour, and my own bare hands, I have killed this fictional god on a stretch of fabric depicting believers of different persuasions. I killed him in order to destroy his holiness. I am a murderer.